Hello everyone, here is Jesus from Sumastekis and in this video we'll cover how to animate or control this gradient progress bar which we have built in a previous video you can check it out this here and the link is in the video description also ok let's move on the first thing that I'm gonna do is remove these controls here and put a button okay um, we just need to add a name to our control for example progress bar okay we want to animate the progress change so we can change the progress value in our progress gradient bar and it progressively change its value from the current value to the actual desired state okay we'll do this using some informed animations let's add a click event handler to our button to make things easier first thing that I'm gonna do is define an animation field using the animation class available in somebody forms namespace the change is something very easy to do we just need to upgrade our progress bar percentage to our desired value we are going to extrapolate from the start to the desired value using this animation callback this animation class led us to define custom animations where we receive this callback which is called for each value in the progression from our star value to the desired value so we are just need to calculate the percentage value that we need to set to our control in this case if our value is zero so progress bar percentage is zero for whatever other value we are going to make a calc we are divide our value We are going to stop our debugging session, okay? And that's it. If value is zero, we are setting it directly because we are don't because we don't want to divide by zero, okay? And in whatever other case, we are dividing again 100, okay? Other thing that we need to specify is a star value in this case we are going we're gonna use a fixed value but you can use whatever you want maybe the previous value the desired value in this example this so given that or or number given that or range between the start at the end value is pretty small we need 
to use desired value we are defined an AC function okay in this case an AC type sign out and that's it we are defining this as a field a private field here and we are committing this linking this animation to this anime table the owner of the animation in this case the man page we could associate this to the progress bar also if, if you want we'll give it a name for example percentage and a length for example 2 seconds 2000 milliseconds but it's the same and we are using or we are callback finish okay this finished callback give us two values the last value of the animation and a second value a boolean value that that indicates whether our animation has cancelled or not so we are using this to reset our animation to null why this because at the start of the of the change request when our users click the button we want to check if this is an animation in progress if animation is different of null we need to call the abort animation progress bar dot abort animation and our animation name in this case this and we can start the animation again okay let's check it out let's click animate Whip. that's it as you can see if you click the button twice the first animation is cancelled so I think that is enough for now, so if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like this video, send us your comments, and subscribe.